Well, good Wednesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. I'm going to read to you from the book of Ephesians um, today. Book of Ephesians in chapter 2. In verse 13, But now in Christ Jesus ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath both won and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. It's just simply saying that God came in the form of man, Emmanuel, being interpreted as God with us when Christ was physically born in Bethlehem. He came and then he shed his blood to buy us back. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. And came and preached peace to you which were afar off, to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one Spirit unto the Father. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord in whom ye are also builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. So hopefully today, if you are a uh, believer, if you have uh, repented of your sin and accepted Jesus Christ as Savior, then you can thank God for the work that he's done in you. Um, I, I saw uh, uh, a lady yesterday. I got to visit with her. If she's watching this today, Miss Joy Sparks, I, I don't... Uh, I had never met her. Uh, she started watching these devotions and is faithful to watch them. And I met her once at um, Gibbons Chapel um, there in uh, on Germany Road uh, when I was in revival once. I met her there. And so I've seen her, visited her at Bristol Village and now uh, at Adina Pike yesterday. I just got to stop in and have a prayer with her. But I saw on her Facebook page that she shared a portion of this song that she liked it. My dad used to sing this. Um, this is uh, Janet Paschal put it out probably uh, in the 2000s. But um, the Leuven brothers put it out years ago and Ira was a co-writer of the song. So just a good song, good meaning. Um, because we have the Lord, uh, we can thank God for what he's done in us. And uh, that's what this song talks about. If you look on my family with pity And you wonder how we struggle alone Then your eyes can't see all our riches thank god for my christian home when i'm sad and discouraged by failure and feel the whole world's against me and everything's wrong all i need for courage is to whisper thank god for my christian home i'm not seeking for riches or power in a world that i can't call my own but i'm laying of treasures in heaven where no sorrow will ever be known when i'm sad and discouraged from failure and feel the whole world's against me and everything's wrong 
All I need for courage is to whisper. Thank God for my Christian home. I will leave this old world like I found it, taking with me no silver or gold. But the strong hand of death has no power to break the circle of my Christian home. When I'm sad and discouraged by failure and feel the whole world's against me and everything's wrong, all I need for courage is to whisper thank God for my Christian home thank God for my Christian home Lord I thank you for um, the opportunity to look to you for help and strength. The opportunity to call out on your name as Savior. And God, I'm thankful for the home that you have provided for us and not just the house that we live in, God, but thankful for my wife and my family. And I pray that you would bless all those that hear this today. Give them help and strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, folks, if you're watching this on Friday night at our fellowship hall at the church at 7 o'clock, we're going to have uh, our third Friday night of the month gospel jam. So come out and be with us. Bring an instrument. Just come out and drink some coffee, eat some sweets or whatever, and, and uh, have a good time. But uh, we'll be there jamming. And then um, on that Saturday night, on the 19th, at 6 o'clock uh, in the church, we're going to have uh, Lefty Frizzell's brother, Alan, coming in from Hendersonville, Tennessee. He's going to give his testimony and going to sing for us. So please come out and be with us. We'd love to have you. God bless. See you Thursday.